Culture Club is brought to you by Tropical Ice, the purest, cleanest ice in Guam. My name is Rowdy. Uh, I grew up in Zotnia, and but I currently live in Duwamish Territory, or also known as Seattle. I've been there for about 20 years, and uh, I think there is some. I, I realize I've been there longer than I have here on the island, and so being back here has been really blessed, like a real blessing, to connect to the land and the space here too. And yeah, I've been away for a little bit, but I think I'm trying to build my canoe and sail back here um, because it's too cold in Seattle. It's nice now in the summer, but the winters are just not. Uh, something about the sun really helps to enliven me. So I moved to Seattle for college. I went to the University of Washington and I graduated in communication. And from there I went into museum, kind of museum work. So I worked in museums for about 10 years. I did education, tours, youth programming, exhibits. And um, I felt really lucky because that museum was called the Wing Luke Asian, the Wing Luke Museum of the Asian Pacific American Experience. It's a mouthful. But it's one of the only um, API museums in the country that talks about the American experience in a way. And so it was one of the first places that asked me what it was to be Chamorro or if Chamorros had an exhibit, what would that look like? And that was like 20 years ago. And um, my whole career that was trying to encourage personal stories. I think personal stories are really powerful and they really help give us a sense of who we are, where we come from, our genealogy, ancestry. And I think when you live in the States, you're told not to talk about your own story. You're always told to talk about someone else's story or fit into someone else's story. But this museum was about, no, what is your story about your grandmother, your grandfather? You know, what was your story? How did you get to this country? You know, how is it being in this country? You know, how do you maintain culture and identity in a space that tells you to assimilate or acculturate or to kind of get rid of all of that? So this museum was really beautiful because they were like, it's a cultural art and uh, history museum. And so they try to weave everything together. And it was a place where I was like, wow, I can be cultural and I can be an artist and I can just learn about history and I can just do all this through art and like exhibits and just talking and dialogue. And so a lot of my work today, um, I don't know, I was trying to explore my own personal story to this island, to my own family, um, to a lot of the ideas that I would read about, but always, I, know, I want to get my fingers to remember too. I do sculpture, I do installation art, um, community, organ community organizing, um, just a whole bunch of things too. I realize whenever, I will just weave a lot. I think I would just take coconut leaves and just weave grasshoppers or stars. I think it's, uh, when you're in the States, it's hard to find coconut leaves there. And so one of my friends would say that uh, whenever you weave, you're doing the dance of your ancestors. And so it's a really great way to me to think about how do they move, how do they think about the world through their hands. And uh, I would just weave and whenever we would go on hiking, so I would just leave little offerings like, thank you so much for being here. You know, instead of just as asking permission, I leave a little gift because for me, that's my own protocol for my own like stay here since I'm a visitor right now. Um, and then I spoke to a friend and she asked me, how does it feel when you leave a gift on the land? And she said, well, I said, well, it feels like it's not enough. I feel like the land wants more. Like the small little gift is I want to give more or the land wants more. And she's like, well, you're tapping into something that the world needs. I think as humans, we extract a lot. We take a lot from the earth and we don't give back. And you're just feeling what the earth wants, just gifts in a way, tensuli, right? Reciprocity. Um, how do we return back to the land, give back to the land as much as the land gives, uh, gives to us? And so after that, I was like, okay, what can I do that's more permanent than just leaving a weaving? And I was like, maybe just try weaving around things. Uh, so I would, uh, I, weave, I wove around a pole and it was near a lupang. It was really, felt really odd because I'm just there sitting by the beach just weaving. Um, cars are behind me. I think they're looking at me. Why is this person sitting there? But I wanted to, give a gift that's a little more permanent, but also temporary, right? Because I'm just using, I'm using Akat, which I actually harvested myself. Um, I went to um, SKC or Sakin Gutur Chamorro and uh, I just cut a bunch of things and I processed it myself. And I was like, let me just weave around this. And it reminds me of like, a, have you heard of like quilt bombing where people would crochet and they would just wrap it around trees. They do that a lot in the States. And so I was like, oh, how can I do that? But what's more indigenous, what's more Chamorro? what's something that we would do here, but also blending ideas and concepts together. And so I was like, let me, someone said it's like I'm tagging the island with weaving, um, which in a way it's kind of like that, but I'm also like, a lot of my work is about adorning. How do we adorn the body? How do we adorn place? How do we make it special? How do we honor this vessel and the place that we're in? 
Um, and I think it reminds me of like fiestas. Because I think when fiestas happen, there's all this celebration, vibrancy. We wear certain clothes, we decorate the table, we, we put things up, and it becomes a special event. And I think for me, it's like, how do I adorn things around me? Just a wood um, that people would look on. Um, I will round. Uh, I think I, I think I'm trying to weave around things that are forgotten. Um, and I wanted to weave around metal or wood um, as a way to remember that we are on indigenous land or that I'm on indigenous land and it's uh, there's a lot of metal here and it makes me I don't know I just want to see more more plants more life for me this this is my little gift to be like just weaving around public things for little kids to be like oh that's, it. that's nice or you get to touch the land a little bit you know with that and I think that's why I would weave around metal because I think I want land to be around metal again versus metal to be around land Doing art sometimes is very lonely. Um, <laughs> you may be seen as a... As, people may judge you for doing things very individually. Um, but if your heart says something and your intuition is telling you to do something, um, see it and, and uh, explore it. And I think that's what I heard here. I just kept on hearing, just weave around stuff. I'm like, really? You want me to weave around stuff? Are, are, are you sure? I was like, okay, I'll do it, and I'll try, and it's been, it's been nice. I remember when I was in, in, in Retidian, um, the lookout, there was a lot of uh, tourists who, who would go there. And I just, as I'm weaving there, um, I'm always wondering how tourists or visitors are receiving the island. You know, what stories are they getting? Do they see this land as sacred as we do? Or do they see it as just like a destination for like fun or honeymoons, right? And, I want people to have a deeper connection to this area. I'm, like myself, I want to have a deeper connection to, to, uh, to this land. So I think spending time with land and having it in my hands and praying in a way or just singing or just like sweating. I was sweating a lot because it's so hot. <laughs> but it's really beautiful. After, whenever I would weave, it would rain afterwards. And I'd say that maybe that's a little blessing from, 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 from the land. Um, so just have good intentions. Think about your grandparents when you do it. Um, I think that's what helps me. I want to make my grandma proud or know that um, oh, that I will remember her in this way. I remember her grandma and her grandma and her grandma too as well. I think that's, uh, for me, that's my own protocol in a way. Um, and pray. I think, when, I think art is a ceremony. Art is bringing spirit out in a way. It's a way for us to reveal something that you cannot see. It's a way for us to bless people and, and ideas and um, create a legacy that's beyond you. Culture Club is brought to you by Tropical Ice, the purest, cleanest ice in Guam.